Hello, Ryu here. I'm a UX designer and also a founder of Real World UX. Okay, here's today's topic. Can a $6 stylus and a trackpad replace an expensive stylus? Ready to dive in? Here we go. Wacom Stylus is great for hand drawing sketches digitally. iPad with Apple Pencil is nice too, but a Wacom top of the line product with a large display could cost a few thousand dollars. And Apple Pencil and iPad are almost one thousand dollars. If you already have MacBook Pro, it has a fairly large trackpad, and surprisingly, an affordable capacitive stylus. Actually works on a trackpad. The sum of capacitive styluses are under ten dollars, which is much more affordable compared to Wacom or Apple Pencil. Now, a capacitive stylus on a trackpad is definitely not perfect. In fact, you need to get used to three things: number one, pressure; number two, angle; and number three, registration. You have to get used to applying light but enough pressure on a trackpad to make the stylus register its relative position on screen with relatively upright angle. With your own finger, you hardly apply any pressure to the trackpad. It just works without you noticing it. But with a capacitive stylus, you need to consistently apply a light pressure to move around the cursor on screen. Then, once you want to draw a line. You apply more pressure to make the trackpad click. For example, when you draw a circle with a stylus, as long as you are drawing a continuous line, everything is fine. Once you finish a stroke and want to draw the second stroke, that's when you need to register your stylus's starting position. When using a trackpad, you are actually doing this by moving around your index finger to find out where your cursor is on a screen. But while we are used to this behavior with a mouse or a trackpad, doing the same thing by applying a light pressure to a stylus feels quite different. So basically, with a capacitive stylus on a trackpad, you end up drawing on a trackpad continuously. Sometimes drawing with light pressure, other times drawing with firm pressure. The only thing is that when you are drawing with light pressure. You are actually not drawing, but just moving around the cursor. This is where more expensive solutions like Wacom and Apple Pencil on iPad provide better experience, so that you don't need to worry about registering a new position of a stylus on a screen. So, if a precise control is super important for you and you can afford it, it's definitely better to get Wacom or Apple Pencil. But for more casual users, a capacitive stylus on a laptop PC trackpad is a good, affordable solution once you get used to it. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave any comments, suggestions, and requests. If you like it, please click like and subscribe. See you in the next video.